The December yearling sale opened proceedings at Park Paddocks for the December sales, with a colt by See the Stars out of Oaks winner Talent headlining proceedings when selling for a sale topping price of 300,000 guineas. The successful purchaser was Anthony Stroud, who signed for three lots on the day for a total of 422,000 guineas, including this colt from Ash Brittle Stud, who was offered by part owners Mark Dixon and the operations James Roussel, the breeders of talent. Pretty pleased given the fact that we were unfortunate that we sort of missed book one. We were there and then uh, the, the, the colt got a hematoma. So we had to withdraw him and so we brought him back here. But obviously glad that there's still some money around and uh, glad that he's made 300,000 and he's gone to a very good home. Talent actually is quite a slight slender filly, mare. Um, and the family generally are on the small side. So this is actually quite a departure. So I think that the, you know, the See the Stars cover or mating has uh, been a good one because it's put some sort of bone and some substance into the, into the uh, horse and uh, I think he's a very nice colt. Lot 7, another offering by See the Stars, ensured big sales for the sire bookended the day with the hammer coming down at 260,000 guineas for the filly out of Al Speranza. Consigned by the Castlebridge consignment on behalf of Landwades and Staffordstown studs, the filly is a half-sister to Group 2 winner Shine So Bright and hails from a family steeped in the studs' history as a great-granddaughter of the champion race mare Al Barada. It is a prolific family within the stud book, something that was not lost on the successful purchaser Harry McCalmont, who was in charge of bidding on behalf of a partnership between Norland Stud and De Berg Equine for Craig Burnick of Glenhill Stud. Well, she might see the stars. Is a star that uh, we rate very, very highly. Um, we use him a lot, and um, he's an exceptionally good star, an exceptionally good star of race horses. Very high percentage stakes winners. She's from a very good family. Uh, Good-looking filly, uh, and we we've had a good yelling sale the last couple of years, and we'd like to try and bring a bit of fresh blood back into the farm and bring a new family back into the farm. So that was the plan. She's for a partnership of myself and Nolan Stud and Craig Burnick of Glen Hill, and we'll race her and hopefully breed from her. Lot 119, a star-spangled banner filly, saw pinhookers knock a trina house stud handsomely rewarded when the filly, bought in February for €40,000 by Pegasus Bloodstock, sold for 130,000 guineas. The profit gained was undoubtedly down in no small part to the exploits of the offering's half-sister, Alcohol Free, who landed the Group 1 Cheveley Park stakes to cap off an excellent juvenile campaign and attract the eye of successful purchaser Crichton Schwartz Bloodstock. She's obviously a half-sister to Alcohol Free, who won the Cheveley Park. And actually, I went to the Salisbury to the Dick Poole stakes when she ran, and she, I thought she just ran a, a very good race, and I, I fancied her for the Shively Park and followed her and then obviously her sister's come up for sale and you know the mare's two from four and she's still young so the pedigree could get even better and hopefully it will with her um, and she was a lovely big filly and you know had a lot of quality as well so fingers crossed really. She'll go to a pre-trainer first and be given the time that she she wants and she'll tell us when she's ready to go into training and then, then she'll, she'll go into training from there. Trainer Andrew Balding enjoyed a productive day signing for six lots for a total of 282,000 guineas including lot 154, a colt by Lope de Vega that cost 130,000 guineas. The January-born offering out of Stone Roses hails from Hillwood Stud, who have enjoyed notable success with the Stallion, having sold a colt out of Moi Mem for 900,000 guineas during book one of the Tattersall's October yearling sale, and have the benefit of two further matings between the Bally Lynch Stallion and Stone Roses still to come. The third lot by the Yaga Khan's leading sire See the Stars to break six figures on the day was lot 31, who sold to Charlie Gordon Watson for 125,000 guineas. The cult out of Crisdale, herself a daughter of Group 1 Phillies Mile winner Crystal Music, was sold by New England Stud for breeders Watership Down Stud and Sunderland Holding and is set to go into training with Ed Walker. The December sales continues on Wednesday with the opening session of the foal sale and buyers and vendors were happy so far with the newly updated protocols at this sale. Tattersalls deserve a lot of plaudits for what they've done in regards to, you know, keeping the sale going ahead and, you know, we're all here able to trade and, and, and in a safe environment. I think Tats have done an unbelievable job. Uh, they've made us all feel very safe here. 
and uh, I think credit is due and, and I'd like to wish them well and give them credit for what they've done.